Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. And even though it doesn't really look like it, it is very, very early in the morning, about 4 a.m. over there, the clock says, because I like to rise and grind. We get up early, early in the morning before anybody else, so we can get out there as fast as possible to defeat the evil monsters waiting around every corner. Because today we got a lot of vanquishing of the monstrosities of darkness and terror to get done. As I planned in the last episode, which didn't really come to pass, I would like to defeat the hive mind and the perforators as they are next on the list. The last episode, we took a little bit of a detour to the underworld because it was recommended to me to grab that stuff down there. So we've got our molten tools. I've got myself a bunch of these infernal chrises. Cry, infernal cry. I don't really know what the plural of a chris would be or even really what a, a Chris is anyway. I'm gonna assume that it's a dagger because, well, that's what it looks like. And we got a stalactite. We're gonna start, you know, everybody else, they get flaming swords and, and magical fire bat staves. And I wait for my bar to power up to maximize rock damage. Oh boy, so exciting, I'm glad I picked Rogue. I am kind of second guessing my decision. I'm gonna trust that everybody says it's really good, but if I get bored of it, I'm not gonna make myself do it just like I did with the uh, the bard over there back in old Thorium mod, because I definitely regret making that my main class for the whole game. I really did not enjoy that very much. Also, there was just a blood moon down here, by the way. Lots and lots of stuff just laying about. There's a a uh, shark tooth necklace, I've already got one of those. It's all good to go. But anyways, let's head over here back to our lovely little area and see if we can take these guys down. We're gonna do them both. I'll probably do them like I did the Brain and the Eater of Worlds. We'll probably take down the Perforators first and then we'll go deal with the Hive Mind Slap Battles. The Traveling Merchant has arrived, what? Okay, uh, nice to meet you, Slap Battles. It's uh, good to see you, I guess. It's more of those weird calamity names. I forget how many of them I've seen so far. I think the guide was named Ben Shapiro once. Now we've got slap battles. I I'm kind of curious. Am I gonna find like a party girl named OnlyFans at some point? Is that what's gonna pop up next? It would not surprise me. I say that now, you wait. That's exactly what's gonna happen. All right, let's get moving over here. Meteorite fist it. Here we go, moving on down the line. Let's actually find our way around here. Kind of need to do a little bit of digging. Actually get down to the correct hole. Fall down the correct crevasse to end up in the right murder zone. It's down here somewhere. Not a lot of scary monsters on the way there, I will say. Oh, here we go. I'm finding some torches. Gotta be kind of going the right way soon, right? It's around here somewhere. Wait, have I found it? Is this the way? Crimulan Blight Slime. It's not exactly what I'm looking for, but it's kind of in the same vein, I suppose. Now, am I going to get lucky? And oh, well, there we go. We've got the uh, Hive Mind's tumor already here. I guess we might as well just start with this one then. Not really sure what the best weapon to use against this guy would be. I don't know, I've got a wide selection here, so we'll just see what it uh, what it does. There we go, the hive mind has been awoken. We're gonna take him down. I forget what this guy's supposed to be. Like, if the Brain of Cthulhu found its way into the corruption, I'm pretty sure. Guess what it is? Wow, that guy actually hits pretty hard. Whoa! I wonder if I could use the, uh, what's it called on this thing? The sand cloak. I have it. I might swap things out here. We'll throw that up there, see what happens. Oh, it doesn't knock them back like it did the uh, other creepers, but you know what? It's not too bad. It's doing a little bit of damage, but it's not super effective anymore. I might have to swap out of the dog tooth. All right, we're going to wait for a nice, nice stealth strike to open up here. Ah, God. Kind of struggling a little bit here. Just a hair. There's that soundtrack, by the way. I absolutely love it. There we go. A little bit of moving around here. Got to focus a hair there. It's summoning out all of his minions. The nasty minions of disgust and putridity. The monsters. Oh my goodness. I'm not using my stealth effectively. Oh god, don't get caught in that. That's where the death happens. Come on, I've got my super powered rage going here. Come on now. I ain't gonna die to no giant infestation brain. I don't think so. Or maybe I might. I don't know. We're gonna have to see what happens. God. There we go. Big explosion. Knock him back. I'm not even sure if the effect of that's working much. I like the uh, little vacuum cleaner sound effect for the roar it's got now. It's just all I, it's what I hear. It's the corrupted street sweeper over here. Watch out. Ouch. I said, ouch. Hey, there we go. We got him down. We've defeated him. Come on, corrupt heart. Get out of here. Dark heart. Go on, get. That was almost kind of ugly. I had to actually try a little bit there. That was something. All right, let's clear this out a little bit here. I'm trying to read. If you don't mind, excuse me. This is a pretty decent sized area here for that, thank God. All right, let's see if I can find a nice safe area to be here, because I'm not trying to leave yet. There is a tumor up there, a cyst, I guess it is. There we go, nice and calm and quiet. We've got the relic right there. 
The hive mind, let's look at the lore. Some semblance of a god's mind may survive death, like the twitches of a crushed insect. What little remains attempts to convene, to coalesce in worship, so that its power may yet be restored. How pitiful. Fortunately for us, the futility of this effort is unmatched. The biomass obeys, but nothing is accomplished. Far from all divine power flows from faith. A god is forged of its own strength. Followers may choose to worship. Okay, now let's open up that treasure bag, see what we got. We got the filthy glove, interesting. Corrupted seeds, demonite bars, and the rotted brain. 10% increased damage when below 75% life. 5% decreased movement speed when you're below half. Shade rains down when you're hit. I don't know if I want to swap any of this stuff out, though. Kind of like have an armor crunch on. Filthy glove is really good, too. It looks like stealth strikes have plus 8 armor penetration. Do 8% more damage. 8% more damage. I don't know. I want to throw that on there. Increase the armor penetration and deal 10% more damage. See, I don't know. Is Filthy Glove better than the Rotten Dog Tooth? 8 armor penetration and 8% more damage. Armor crunch and 10% more damage. I'm not really sure what would be better. And Rotten Matter as well to just craft the stuff that he drops. Can make a moldering altar from Calamity's Vanities. That's interesting. Kind of cool looking little eyeball mouth there. Teratoma. And it looks like the only rogue weapon that I could really get is the Rot Ball here. Rain down uh, stealth strikes on enemies. It's kind of good. Shadow Shedding. Infestation. Summons a smaller hive mind that you can ride inside of. That's cool. We need a soul of flight, though, and a corrupt effigy. How do you make that? Where's that from? Well, we'll find out eventually. All right, well, let's, uh, let's try out some of this stuff. We'll swap out the fungal clump, give him a little bit of a rest. We can try the rotted brain, or maybe, actually, let's put on the filthy glove instead. We'll stack that stuff up and see if that works out good. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Mm. Well, I gotta fight him again to get my relics. But for now, let's just take down the perforators. Slap, 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 slap. There we go. Oh, hello, you're here, aren't you? You're right here, ready to go. And that debuff was... What was that? I have no idea what that was. Oh, God, I core everywhere. I've seen it. There we go. Now we got the real soundtrack going. We're rocking out here. What is that? Burning blood. Blood is on fire. So that's the debuff that that other thing does. I gotta get rid of that blight slime. My god, I'm getting pulverized here. I really am getting my butt kicked. This guy's definitely a lot different than he used to be, that's for sure. You gotta move with this guy. He is moving. Did I accidentally switch it from revengeance to death? My god. Oh god, there's that thing. Now stay up there and stop chasing me so much. God. Oh, and he got me. My god, he absolutely pulverized me. That was horrifying. Just absolutely disintegrated. Well, I guess since I'm back here... Might as well drop some stuff off. Huh, soundtrack sounds a little bit different. Well, I guess the sky's glittering with cyan light as well from the defeat of the hive mind. We've got our area light. And it sounds like the, the, the village day, or is that, um... Or just the natural, like, overworld soundtrack? Sounds like it's different. It's made a little change. Is there, like, a change in the music as progression goes on? That is cool. I like that. All right, well, let's craft a couple rot balls, I guess. Make a few couple of them. Might as well grab a couple of potions while I'm over here, too, because it looks like he's definitely a heavy hitter. Um, let's throw on... We'll throw on a life force, because we got a couple of them. Heart reach, I don't know if that's going to be any value to me. Definitely iron skin. And definitely swiftness and regen. And endurance, too, of course. We're going to potion up for this one. We're not playing any games. No more pulling punches here. I do have the ability to make shadow potions from some of these shadow fish that I fished up in the desert. It's a good rogue potion. Craft a couple of them, why not? All right. Now let's head back over there and try it again. Oh, by the way, just in case anybody was curious, I did have death mode on the whole time. We're gonna dial that right back down. No wonder that guy was suddenly so much more challenging. The hive might actually have to try a little bit. I guess the corruption stuff is still easier. Though I think the perforators has had their AI changed, I'm very sure of that, because I do not remember them moving quite like that. I don't even remember turning on death mode. I'm not even sure how that happened. All right, now I need another cyst. Preferably close by over here. Oh, cyst. I insist the cyst should persist and not resist my fist. Ha! Oh, there we go. There's another cyst. You're a little bit of a distance away, though, unfortunately. That's all right, though. We'll make it work. We've got things dialed back a little bit now, so hopefully it uh, goes a little better. Let's throw out some rot balls here. Come on, commence with the murder. Good penetration. Not sure if it's great for single target, unfortunately, though, but that's okay. We are all good here. There we go. Yep, and you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to start chasing after me and blasting me. I've got to get you back to the arena. 
Oh my god, I got a chase. I got a chase going here. I had to take that hit. I gotta get through the hole. Let me through the hole. Ah, god. Like, corruption down there is kind of screwing me up. I'm not really sure what weapon I should be using right now. Oh, there we go. Got something I can penetrate there. I can penetrate the worm. Oh, not really, though. It still kind of hurts. God. This guy's specialty is nothing but debuffs, isn't it? There we go. All right, now he's back on me again. God, he still hits very hard. This is definitely not a, a gentle boss. I, mean, I was thinking the Forbidden Broccoli would be a, a nice guy. Oh, Curse Flames, huh? Interesting. Oh, God, what is that? Don't recall that being part of the old event here. Letteth me heal myself before I die of death. Ugh, you're Big Wiggly. You brought out the Big Wiggler. Let me have a heal. Thank you. Oh, God, here we go. There he comes. Oh, boy. Ouch. God. Ugh. So much bleh everywhere. Ooh, that's a big bleh right there. Big giant flaming bleh. Looks a little bit uncomfortable there, Wormlington. Little wormy. Ah, just gonna get you to stand right there, would you? Be so kind. Oh boy, wow, that kind of... Woo! Okay, shouldn't have done that. I regret it. Now there's double worms. And I'm dead. Wow, this guy is not nice. They definitely reworked the way his fight works. He's a lot more aggressive now than he used to be. That or, I mean, the very strong possibility that I'm a dummy because I didn't use my potions at all for that. <laughs> Whoopsies daisies. You know what they say, third time's a charm, okay. I think after this, to refight these guys for their trophies and such, I may end up going up and getting the area light stuff. This time, we're gonna do it the right way. And there's gonna be a teratoma, or not a teratoma. There's going to be a hive cyst just waiting down here or a perforator cyst, or whatever it's called. There's gonna be the cyst down here. It's gonna be waiting for me, and I'm gonna have no trouble at all. This is the wrong one. I definitely don't want the tumor here. That's kind of a problem. Is there a way? I should have brought that item over that makes it so they can't spawn. That would have been a smarter choice, because of course now I've got that hive tumor right dead center in the middle of my arena. You're gonna cause me problems. You know that? Hey, there we go. There's a perforator cyst. Take this down, and I can kind of get a nice little proper way back to my arena now. There we go. All right, get out of here. We'll buff up. There we go. Oh, now we're covered in the darkness. We are in the darkness. There we go. Lots of damage. We'll use the Hellfire Chris. We're going to call Chris out. Look at this, by the way. That shadow potion or whatever I've got on. That is cool looking. I like it. I wonder if I should be using the Meteorite Fist for this, though, because that thing seems to really a pack a punch, if you know what I'm saying. Ha ha ha. Oh, there's little shadow projectiles coming out from that, too. That is awesome. Hey, come on back. Hey, you punch, you get punched. I gotta not damage him too much, otherwise he may end up calling forth the death on me a little bit too quickly here. I'm not sure what the percentages are for whenever he spawns those other guys. I usually, I forgot what it was. Back before, you had to actually go through a little bit at a time here, didn't you? You damage him and then he'd be immune. All right, we're gonna punch it. We're just gonna bring it out, get rid of you. He's not dying at all whatsoever, barely doing any damage. Come on, die already. These guys are durable. Oh god, now we got this out here. I cannot get rid of that other worm to save my life. I'm gonna have all three worms out here right now. I'd like there to always be a worm alive. I think that's the best way to do this. And then when one dies, damage him down to almost death, and then bring forth the other worms. That seems to be the best way to do this. Keep him up there and away from charging at me so I don't have to deal with him by himself. Oh, there's that one. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna call forth the pain. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And bring the rain. And bring the rain of the paint. He's just gonna stand there and deal with that right there. That's all I gotta deal with is just this. Oh god, I broke him up. I broke them up. Come on, come here. There you go. That, that, that. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, right through the rain. Ha! Ah, I think I'm playing this a little bit more intelligently. Oh, he's dead. And it gave me the trophy on the first kill. Look at that. Ha! Ah, so the only thing I need is the uh, hive mines relic, and then we're good to go. Okay, cool. So let's do the perforators and their hive. These creatures were unique, for they wielded the slain god's power as purely as possible, veins flowing with split ichor. Spilt ichor, not split ichor, my bad. All that exists in the crimson is truly the divine turned inside out. Their gore now glistens with its perverse treachery. For all to bear witness, the mire reeks of centuries of vile manipulation and callous domination of the hapless. Judgment is long past and extinction is left waiting. My god, you just get a little bit edgier every lore item, don't you? You really can't help yourself. Well, I guess since I'm here, I might as well break this thing. Maybe we'll get lucky and I'll get something from the Hive Tumor. We'll fight this one more time since we're here. Actually, let's open that first. Hard bloodstained gloves. Could I put both pairs on? Would that be possible? You have the a, a bloody worm tooth, perforator mask, small perforator mask, blood sample. You have tooth ball, and that's really it. There isn't any anything in particular. Visceral altar, that looks pretty hardcore. And there's the bloodstained glove. That is kind of my stealth weapon there. I wonder if I could put them both on. I might as well swap them out because I had on 
this Crimson Flask. I guess it would still do me some good, but not for the debuff. There we go. Okay, now let's get going over here. I'll use his own weapons against them. It should make life a lot easier. This guy I don't find excruciatingly challenging. He's just kind of a, more of a frustrating guy than anything else. Build up some stealth strikes. See if I can stack that stuff up there. If I keep stacking up all these rain clouds here, that's the real damage, it looks like. He's a lot slower than the perforators. This is definitely a lot easier. This is like night and day compared to the other guy. This is a cakewalk. Come on, give me your stuff. Is there a trophy there somewhere, please? Oh, wow. Give me all kinds of stuff out of that. Shade Thrower, Shade Rain, Rotten Key. The key to pacifying a microbial cluster summons a chunk of the hive mind. Oh, there we go. I got a little mini hive mind buddy with me. I don't know. Do I want the little baby siren or do I want the hive mind? Oh, well. Well, you know, I am for diversity's sake. We'll swap it out for now. All right, let's be smart and use the Teratoma instead of trying to wait for the cysts and everything to show up. Oh, God. Of course you're going to be up there. Yeah, the very first time that I do this, this is where you're going to end up spawning. Just keep stacking up the shade rains. The painter was slain. How was the painter slain? Here we go. We got to shred him. Spread him with the flaming dagger. That's right, burn in your own fire. Oh, there he goes, he's down again. Did I get the trophy yet? No, I did not. Hey, there we go, the hive mind trophy is finally mine. All that for what, a, a, I don't even know what that thing is. An orifice, I think, I have no idea what you'd even call that. But we're all done, finally. That did not take as long as I thought it would, thank God. We can head back down. Complete the most important part of this business. I'm curious as to why my NPCs are dying. And another meteorite has landed. That's interesting. Watch it be right up on my roof. I'll go back up to my base up there and everything will be missing. And the guide is dead again. Where is he dying at? What is going on that he is getting killed? Is he like falling into water and drowning? Is that what it is? It's very strange. Oh well, survival of the fittest and all that. Evolution is quite a cruel and vile mistress. But anyways, let's go on down the line here to our special locations. We got our meat hooks for the crimson and some burning torches and the new, uh, what are these blocks called? It was something that was recently added. They are lesion blocks. It's kind of the alternate to flesh blocks. Let's put them up here. We have the perforators trophy and we've got the relic, which is uh, really freaky looking. Kind of almost looks like a giant flesh spider more than a, a, a brain, broken up brain or a mass of flesh. I'm not really sure. We got the hive mind trophy, the orifice there, the, uh, the pig snout or whatever that thing is. And the Relic, using the very old sprite for this thing, I think. This is back even before they made it all purple and crazy looking. Well, that'll be that. And uh, that pretty much only leaves a good handful of bosses left for pre-hard mode. And then things are going to really start popping off and getting crazy. But for the time being, although it is time to go up there and find some area light, I have been recording for quite a while and I don't have a super high amount of time left to do stuff. So we may be going off to explore up here in the sky. Probably won't take too long to find this stuff. Unless it does, I'm not sure. It could take forever, or maybe it won't take any time at all. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to check up here to make sure that it actually spawned, because that was a concern people had. I was hoping I'd just be able to pop up here and go, yep, here it is, right here. There's the area light. I would assume that it, like, glows or something. I don't know. Not on that one, or in this one, or on that one. Well, I know for sure that there is area light over there on the corrupted island. So, at the, the worst case scenario, I'll just, what, farm the arrow slimes or whatever. Well, we had it all figured out. It'll be all good. Don't even worry about it. You know, ball man's got things under control. It's all handled. Helen, I don't know what we're gonna do if we can't find this stuff. We are completely doomed otherwise. But yeah, don't even worry about it. It's all good. Not a problem at all whatsoever. Anyways, Rogue is getting kind of... Eh, it's interesting. It's got some unique mechanics, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna stick with it the whole way through. I don't know. Something to consider, I guess. But anyways, with all that said and done, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.